Got Devushka on the inside, rewrite the stars up on the outside. Two and a half away then is Jinsoku. You can see Neeraj Rawal making a bit of a forward move on Cape Tanaros as he gets into striking position. He's in fourth place. They straighten up and uh, Devushka manages to kick away from rewrite the stars. But Neeraj Rawal very alert to the task there on Cape Tanaros and he sets him alight on the outside. Hands and heels, no hard luck stories here. Cape Tanaros easily moving the best of the lot as he corners Danush uh, Danushka and moves away from her to win the first race very convincingly. So it's all Cape Tanaros winning the first race of the afternoon. Replay, we see the field going past the 600. It's a melody who enjoyed a, a good lead in front, made it all by herself, slowed the pace down. Anas Parma riding a, a lovely race atop. He asked to quick, quick in turning for home, and the, the response was spontaneous. And uh, we saw properly posh look threatening at one part in the stop of the straight. She hung in pretty badly. By the time he could get her on even keel, Miracle had all, uh, Melody had already gone clear. NS Parma had given her two, three cracks and was just smooth sailing then. Properly Prosh just couldn't get off the railing. She hung very, very badly behind him. Then it was just, that was what made the difference and Melody just kicked on and won by a length and a half at the finish. From Properly Prosh in second, Wandering Angel was third and Ashwamake was in fourth. The field goes past the 600. It's Nandini Spet always maintaining that one and a half lead from script in second. Mr. Batola Vaz was on the outside. Two lengths behind was Berluti. It was Forevermore who was looking for a run between the runners and she was switched out to the outside immediately by Hindu Singh. She had given Nandini Spet a break of at least six to seven lengths top of the straight. Nandini Spet shifted off a straight line and once Hindu Singh just picked up the whalebone and gave a crack or two to Forevermore, she just responded immediately and she just came with a telling strike on the outside and just breezed past Nandini Spet at the finish. Coming out of an, a very, very good win at the end winning it very comfortably was forevermore. See Redoubtable in front, he's already got the opposition off the bridle with less than 600 to run and it's almost as though the race is all over here unless he stops and he certainly didn't. So when they turned for home there was never any doubt in anyone's mind that Redoubtable was going to come out and win it. He does tend to run a little green and tried to lug in suddenly as they turned for home but he was well clear of the rest of them and in the end it had become an absolute procession redoubtable winning the bet in races.com rctc gold vase as he liked trained here by rutherford alford written by p ajit kumar One point nine FM Cup. Here they are now. Vanguard making all the running from the word go. He's about a length now. The good of Suestado coming under a bit of pressure there in second position. Then you've got Raksharki who's thereabouts, followed by Deem to Fire. But when they straighten up, Vanguard looks like he's shaken them off. He's got a break of about a length and a half, two lengths. But Neeraj Rawal doesn't give up on Suestado. He pulls the stick out and he manages to get that little bit extra there from Suestado who starts closing in and bridging the gap. It's very close at this stage, but in the closing stages, no question, Suestado moving the better of the two to get up to Collar, the longtime leader, Vanguard, in the sight of the winning post to win by half a length. Legendary striker from the front by about a length. Whispering Grass gets a little closer. Exotic Queen also thereabouts. But you can see the favorite traveling very, very smoothly in front. He's on tight reins at the moment. Whispering Grass coming under pressure. Tries to get up to the long-time leader. But they just can't seem to reach that gap. And in the end, C.S. Joda just has to remind him of the task. And Legendary Striker lengthens his stride to go away and win very, very convincingly in this Telegraph Cup. The battle was for second, third and fourth place 
and I think it was Whispering Grass who managed to hold that, while Timur's Choice was third. So legendary striker, the winner of the Telegraph Cup. Tuscany's in front, stablemate Mandela in third, Bold Style is in third, and look at Social Truth, he's struggling to be up there, but in the end he comes home very strong indeed. Big Brown has also run well, but the horse to keep an eye on is Leonardo. He's come from well off the pace to come up and run a good fifth. Here they are in the final straight, and you've got Tuscany kicking away by about two lengths to three lengths there from Social Truth, now getting into top gear and beginning to bridge the gap on the outside. Then you've got Mandela dropping back. Big Brown comes with a useful run to be up there with them. And uh, that's it going for the line. Tuscany wins it from uh, Social Truth. And uh, no hard luck stories there in the end. So the winner of the Indian Produce Stakes, number 11, Tuscany. On the outside there is Sherwin, towards the inside is Shivali Gold. Top notch at this juncture is uh, tracking the early pace. The one who's moving into the race wide of the track there is Who Dares Wins. Atom is sneaking a run towards the inside as they enter the home straight. Sherwin is the first one uh, who's off the bridle and goes backward. And Top Notch now eases into a lead, being chased on the outside by Who Dares Wins, who fights on for a while. But into the last 200, Top Notch goes about length, two lengths clear. And the challenges are coming from back, but they're not really making an impression of Top Notch, the property of Mr. Shaurav. Chaucharya, Mr. Pankaj Chaucharya, Mr. Divya Chaucharya and Mr. Sanjay Kumar Agarwal for Mr. Marvinder Singh, written by Abzal Khan. So that's your winner, top notch for the Royal Mantle Handicap. Venetia Glint is making the running. Big star, he's trapped about five wide. Towards the inside, Agnostic is the one who's in box seat. Black Pearl looks to be in, under pressure as they take the turn, being pushed around. Tigrio moved very nicely towards the inside. Waiting for the run, then we had Estrella Star as they enter the home straight, taking the shortest way. R.S. Bhatti guided Tig uh, Tigrio to the lead. Agnostic is the one who was gaining for a while, but Tigrio drew away about two and a half clear, and that seemed to be our winning lead at the end. Tigrio, Tigrio is your winner, won that by about two and a half lengths. Agrami again warmed up late to uh, come into the place money. So Tigrio, Agnostic, and Agrami, that's your top three. I will hand it over to the judges' box for the final placing for the Andropov Handicap.